Do you ever invent a reason to go thrifting when you don't need to go thrifting? That's kind of what this one is, this haul. So, got a little something for everybody. Clothes, shoes, jewelry. Go grab a drink. Go grab a drink. And come on back while I roll that intro. Jennifer here with a ah, surprise of all surprises a thrift haul um I we had Friday we had Friday off April 21st we had Friday April 21st off for Iad al Fitr which is the end of Ramadan um and I hope I pronounced that right I practiced I really did if I did not Feel free to help me out because I think it's important to pronounce names and words correctly. Anyway, um, I did my best. I studied that one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I do have a little bit of everything for y'all today. And I am just going to, because this bag is right here, I'm going to grab it. But we'll preface it. Why in the world did I go thrifting? I don't need to go thrifting. Um, we had that Friday off. I had to go across the city. I live on the east end of Richmond, Virginia. I had to go all the way over to the west end for an appointment. So there is one little church run Christian ministry thrift store called the West End Thrift. All the people that work at it are volunteers. I never get to go. I never go to it um, because on the weekends, I don't feel like driving that far. If I thrift on the weekends, I want it to be local. I don't want to spend a lot of time in the car. Um, and so I just, I don't go that often. So I was like, hey, I'm on this side of town. I'm less than a mile from that thrift store. I'm just going to go. Do y'all invent reasons like that? I mean, I could have easily said, no, Jen, you don't need anything. But <laughs> I mean, there might have been something good. I find a lot of Peter Millar there. So, um... I wanted to go, so I did. And ah, uh, all the clothes were half off. Not anything in the boutique. They do have a boutique section. Um, nothing in the boutique. They always have a color tag sale. I don't remember what this one was. And shoes were not on sale. But I did get some shoes because their shoes are like $5 a pair. You kind of can't beat that, but I was real picky about what I picked up. So let's look at this first very cool pair of shoes. Hang on, let me see. Look at those heels. They got all the studs on them. All that studding detail. And do you see the brand? Lamb, L-A-M-B, and that is Gwen Stefani's brand. They are a nine and a half. They're my size. You would never catch me in these. I would not be able to walk in this. I would be like, ah, get a wheelchair. Um, because, <laughs> yeah, heels and me, not a thing. But Gwen Stefani's brand, excited about that. I'll, um, I'll try to pop up comps. Time should allow me when I'm editing. First time finding this brand. Look at how cute these are. These little black heels and they're like a net material with all this beadwork on it and embroidery. Aren't they pretty? This is Badgley Mishka. I've never found Badgley Mishka. They're in pretty good shape. You can see some wear right here, but it's not extreme on the bottom. Um, what size were these? Eight. I have a leather sole. I just have never found Badgley Mishka. And I thought those were really pretty. Very, very pretty. I was like, oh yeah. Take the Badgleys. Is that how you say it? I hope I'm saying that one right too. And the last pair, if they're interesting and in good shape, I will always pick them up. Dance goes. And these are interesting. 
they've got this cool design on them. So yeah, dance goes there in great shape. They are a 37, which seven, is that a size seven? I think it is. I'll have to look it up, but yeah, I'll always pick up interesting looking dance goes. I don't generally get the ones that are just plain black, but I will always get the ones that are interesting. Now, one thing with dance goes, and this has a little bit of it right here. This leather is what starts to wear off and you see that little, that little pick right there. And once this starts wearing off, I won't buy them. Okay. But it's got a couple of picks that was not major. I will disclose that. I will price them accordingly. But for the most part, these are in great shape. I have seen them and sold them in much worse shape. Those should do well. They should go great. In my experience, they have. All right. Um, I have never, like I said, never sold or found bags of Mishkas. I've never sold lamb, but I have heard good things. So excited about that. All right, let's take a look. And I don't see my receipt offhand. So when I find it, I'll um, pop up, you know, average cost of goods and all of that good stuff. Um, the only reason I got these were that they are linen or partial, like they're a linen blend. And I just think that these would be great for the summer, but I don't pay full store price for Coldwater Creek, okay? I'll look at my average cost of goods and probably put these in a whatnot sale. But I liked, I like this style of pant. This is great for summer with it being a linen blend. And you guys, if you, if you've watched my show before my, my show, if you've watched <laughs> I don't know where my brain is at today. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that I'm not a fan of straight linen. I I like linen blends. So this is blended with rayon, which to me helps the fabric drape. Um, sometimes, in my opinion, linen feels stiff and not easy to wear. When you mix it with other fabrics, like a cotton or a rayon, you get, um, you know, something that kind of to me sits on you better and is more movable with your body so um my love hate relationship continues with j jill and this is linen stretch jill and i i don't know so again we've got a linen and rayon and spandex blend and these are just so so cottage core look at these little flowery grandma pants i love them so, and that's something, you know, that I'll probably put in the linen, in the listing, like cottage core, grandma core. These are fantastic. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect for the country club. I don't know about that. All right. Digging out another pair. Feels something like more linen. Did I go on a linen kick? I did. Um, I probably, um maybe might throw this in a whatnot show linen um they're 100 percent linen size 14. i don't know anything about peck and peck weekend but i don't think i've never ever heard anybody say that brand ever the the deciding factor on these look at that waistline that's cute and the fact that they're 100 percent linen and we're coming up on summer this is a great neutral base color great for a capsule wardrobe because it's going to go with so many things okay i went on a pants kick all right so we have new tags size 28 um, Worthington, which is sold at J.C. Penney, but it says 28 women, new with tags, and it's just, you know, a basic pair of, like, a charcoal gray wide leg dress pant. Nothing fancy, but a good base staple to have. A great size that I don't find very often. 
just pulling stuff out. See, I wasn't even prepared because I normally bring my own bags and I didn't. I'm normally, you know, don't be you, I'm normally not using um, plastic bags and things like that. I bring a lot of my own. Nicole Miller, size two eggs, 100% linen. I did go on a linen kick. It must have all just found me. Again, another great wardrobe staple. These are joggers at the bottom. They've, they're elastic at the bottom. Um, so there we go. Linen, a great neutral color. Again, capsule wardrobe. This is this is it right here. Lag and look, um, because these are going to be a little bit baggy as joggers, and a plus size at that. You just those are all some great factors that that stack on top of each other make for a good pickup. Um, an extended size that I don't see very often, 3X, 26, 28, and a great little shell. Like, I would wear this under a cardigan or a little, little jacket, and it is green and black. And if you know anybody who likes green, they like their green. Um, so, green fans buy all the green things. Oh my gosh, I've got this half price, you guys. I I can't wait to figure out my cost of goods. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to get this bathing suit, even though, oh, it is brand new. It is brand new because it still has the hygienic liner. And let me see. It's a miracle suit. I was so excited to get this. It's a size 14 miracle suit. I'm gonna call it new without tags because I don't see the tags, but the liner is still in here. That's That was a good find, very exciting find. Jeans, like I need jeans after getting a 50 pound thread up denim box. Oh well. <laughs> Anyway, oh, it's Chico's. 14 regular or Chico's two and a half high rise straight leg ankle. So some Chico's jeans. Chico's is having a moment right now where Chico's is selling. It's selling. So list your Chico's. What are you waiting for, people? All right. Another, this is a swim top. Look how happy and vibrant that is. A tankini top. It, this does something. I still gotta figure it all out. Oh, it, it ties right here. Hold on, let me do this so it looks like something. Um, it's got browns and blacks. So if you're like me and you have different bathing suit bottoms, like I have solid bottoms, I buy print tops. So my bathing suit looks, you know, different all the time. And it's Victoria's Secret 38D. So, happy about that. Hold on. Dig in here. I'm gonna throw that over there. All right. Oh, and this was so cute. Um, It's Talbot's Petite. I do sell petites. I don't sell teeny tiny size petites. A large, extra large petite, yes. There are some short girls out there with curves that need, you know, that type of stuff. So Talbot's Petite's 100%. Well, it's Pima cotton, so it's super soft. Look at this cute little peach cardigan. You'd be a cute little sweater girl in this one. You could wear it as a cardi. You could actually wear it as a shirt. I love this top. And I love that peach color. It, it's almost like, it reminds me of a creamsicle. I love that color. It's just so cute, so. Okay, hold on. Hydrate, hydrate. All right, another bag down here. Oh, this dress is beautiful. Well, so is this one. They're all beautiful dresses. Um, when it comes to purchasing things for summer, I prefer getting dresses 
over shorts and tank tops. Shorts and tank tops generally don't sell for much. Um, I will get them if I can get them at a good price and sell them in a lot. Like if I have, you know, two pairs of shorts that are size six and their measurements are pretty much the same, I'll sell that as a lot as opposed to selling them by themselves. To me, that is a better use of my time in photographing and listing so that I can make a little more money than just selling one pair at a time. Okay, hold on just a minute. We got potential spam coming in. All right, I'm gonna hit the hang up button. Jessica Howard, size 16. Not um, knock you out of the park brand, but this is a solid seller for me, depending on the style. And I think this brown and cream will do well with this floral print. Nice little bow on the front. The fact that it is a 16. It zips up the back. Um, and I think for a graduation as a wedding guest, great dress. Perfect for those types of events. This dress is incredible, y'all. Um, Catherine's, y'all, it's a 4X. Do you know how hard it is for women that size to find things? It is, um, look at this floral. Look how gorgeous this is. This is all like tulle with, you know, a dress liner underneath. How beautiful is that? That is just insanely beautiful. Um, again, you're going to a graduation. You you were invited to a wedding. Man, I got your dress. All right. <laughs> I got your dress. All right, I'm oh, just so happy to pick that up. Grab something. Did go over to the men's section to see what they had, and I did find, I don't normally pay um, retail, like retail thrift store prices for J. Crew, but this is new with tags. It's a size 40. Um, does it have, does not have the original price. They are a waist size 40 and the inseam is nine inches. It's a great pair of chino style men's shorts. A cool, like a blue color. It's like a slate blue. Is that where I'm going with that? Another dress. Another Jessica Howard size 16. Maybe the same person donated it because again, it's another floral with a bow on the front, same style. Same exact style. <laughs> so yeah, I really did like that one. Again, graduation, wedding, guest, um, a party with the girls at the winery. Perfect. Throw on some white sandals. You are good to go. All right. I liked this for some reason. Um, not, I don't, probably not a brand that we should be running out and picking up. It's called Beige. <laughs> what a name. Uh, but I liked this top for some reason. I think I liked the sleeves with this, this trumpet end and the bow. I just liked how fun it was. Now, now there's something, I don't know, I haven't researched into it a whole lot, called Clown Core. This might fit that aesthetic. I, I gotta check it out first, but it could fit that aesthetic. It reminded me of fruit stripe gum. Remember the gum with the wrappers that you could tattoo on yourself? <laughs> um, again, here's a size that I don't, that I don't see often on a 4X and just a pair of like teal colored pants. New with tags, they are Terra and Sky. So, um, Walmart brand, they only retailed for $15.87, but um, again, with cost of goods and everything, um, I can put these in my whatnot show. I like doing shows, uh, plus size clothing shows on whatnot. That's what I like to do. So, that's probably where those will go. Um, okay. Here we go with more Chico's. 
Size two, which is like, probably like a 12, I think. And it's just a basic tank, but I really liked the pattern on it and all the colors that's going to make it versatile. And was it made of anything notable? Let me see if I can find the fabric. Did it say? No, it's polyester and spandex, but it's Chico's. All right. What is this? <laughs> oh, that's why. All right. I found this one time before and I was so brand blind that I bought it and didn't realize how damaged it was. It was pretty beat up. So I ended up having to re-donate it. This is Lafayette 148. I did check this over, y'all. Um, so it's like a sweater with this window pane plaid. When you have the big, just basic squares like that, that's window pane plaid. Now, the cool thing about this plaid, you've got this black stripe. All that is like, um, it's like beads or studs as the second stripe. So, but this, this big basic square is a window pane plaid. This is a sweater and it says medium large. So, Lafayette 148 great brand. Um, don't know how well this would do, but we'll see. Oh, and it's 100% wool. 100% wool. I hope I checked it for little, <laughs> little buggy boos, little bug holes. Um, one is about to start right there, but it hasn't quite started just yet. Do you see it right there? It's not all the way through yet. All right. I'll disclose it. I will disclose it. All right. What, what did I buy? This has been the story of my life. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you've seen my other videos, you know, when you find one brand that you've been looking for, looking for, looking for, and then all of a sudden that brand just keeps popping up. Here's Aria. I found the boots and then I found like the nursing clogs and now I found an Ariat t-shirt. So probably won't get a ton for it, but horse people love their horses and Ariat people are brand loyal. So there we go. Can you tell I had fun? Oh, this is so pretty. I think it's, yes, it is a hundred percent silk. Um, I think this is vintage. That is not anything I've ever heard of. It is 100% silk and it's a size 16. Now let me see if I can hold it correctly and show you guys. It is like this high neck type of deal. I mean, you wouldn't have to, but look at that. Look at that pattern on there. How pretty is that? Um, this is like art. This is art to wear. So I didn't research it. I just picked it up <laughs> and there we go. It's 100% silk. And the fact that it looks very artistic. Art to wear will be in my tags or my title, something like that. Oh, there's something on the floor. Um, okay. Pair of shorts, new with tags. I don't necessarily buy a new approach at all, but the fact that it's new with tags, a good size, size 12, has the distressing. Um, I will, I'll sell these. They may not sell for a ton, but I'll sell them. They retail for $44. So, at JCPenney. Again, they are not going to sell for a ton, but hopefully the fact that they're new with tags will help them out. This was the cutest shirt. I got this for my friend Brighton. So I need to get it in with his other one. This is his favorite brand, Denim and Flower. Um, and he's so good to me. So I pick up things that I know he likes. It's got teeny tiny sailboats. Brighton will look so preppy in this. <laughs> Brighton, I don't know if you'll look like Sean Cassidy or Kurt Cobain. His, his hair is growing out and he keeps getting these 
You look like Kurt Cobain. You look like Sean Cassidy. I don't know if either one of them would have worn a sailboat polo. All right. Is, do I have the other piece to this? Hold on. It says two-piece set. Yes. Another. Went crazy on the Jessica Howard, but I have success with it. So this is a size 16, and we saw the other Jessica Howard dresses were all 16. Except this one is linen. It's just a linen navy blue dress. Solid navy blue. Um, and it has a jacket that goes with it. Let me look and see. Yes, it is a hundred percent linen. And then it's got this um this jacket. And it might be vintage. I'll have to do some digging. Find out. I saw stars. Where were the stars? I saw stars on this jacket. Was I imagining? Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't imagining it. The pockets have little stars on them. Do -do -do -do. So those pockets on the front. Hey, linen, summer, they go together. <laughs> right? Linen and summer go together. All right, let me um check this. Made in Hong Kong. So yes, this is a vintage Jessica Howard piece. All right. Let's see if there's anything else or are we down to we have something else. Hold on. Okay. We put that there. And I got, I never find these. I never find these. So I was very excited to find button down suspenders. I always find the regular ones, but these button. So these are just kind of a basic. Did they have something on these? Yes. That's another thing to look for, you guys. Um, They have SAS on there and West Germany. I hope it's showing up. Okay. So West Germany, when you see that on suspenders, that's a good thing. Um, so I think that says SAS. I think it does. Or does it say CAS? Maybe that's a C. C-A-S. So, there's one pair of suspenders. And then, here's the other pair. They're kind of silky feeling. Very preppy looking. Very business-like. And they also say C-A-S West Germany. And they are button suspenders. Button suspenders tend to do better than those clippy ones. All right, so here's what's next. What is next is, I still didn't see my receipt. Um, what is next is jewelry. And because it's a small amount, I wanna try flipping my camera to where I'm not in the video and it's just the jewelry. So that's what we're gonna try to do. And so I'll, I'll probably like pause you guys and get all that straightened up. Oh, one more thing before I do that. One more thing before I flip the jewelry. I did get two storage devices that I'm very excited about. Hold on. I just stacked all those clothes on top of one of them though. <laughs> Leave it to me. All right, let me move these clothes really quick. Um. So, when I, when I list jewelry, I've got two shoe boxes that I've been putting it in. And then when somebody buys something, I'm like digging in the shoe. Is it in this shoe box? Is it in this shoe box? And I'm like, Jen, you got to come up with a plan, ladybug. So this beautiful thing was at the thrift store for $5. And there were two of them. And I, this is what I picked up. So I have... I have given each drawer a letter and a number, A1, A2. The other, the other one I'm going to call B1. I don't know if I'll do B because all my bins that I keep clothes in are letters, are B. So maybe the, the, maybe the other one I'll label C. Maybe, or maybe I'll continue with the A's and go A24. Anyway, so now when I'm listing... 
depending on, you know, what drawer I put it in, I just put that in as the skew so I know where to go look, look for it. I got the hiccups. I can't stop hiccuping. Oh. Anyway, $5 each. And they've got this thing where they can stack on top of each other. No problem. They've even got a place where I could mount it to the wall if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that. They'll just sit over where all my hard goods sit. But I'm excited about those. All right. So, stay tuned. My jewelry lovers, stay tuned. And we will we'll try the camera flip. <laughs> we know how I feel about that. But I do want to keep trying until I get it right. Um, we'll try the camera flip and we will look at the jewelry that I got. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is kind of what I've got as far as the setup goes. Hang on. Let me get this. Y'all see me struggling. Okay, we're going to move that. Um. Anyway, I, I don't know. I just... I just looked. Their earrings, their clip-on earrings, were buy one pair, get one pair free. There is, a, you see five pairs sitting here. There is a sixth pair somewhere. I just don't know where it is, y'all. Let me take off this band-aid because it looks terrible in the camera. Um, I have this tiny cut on my knuckle, and it's pain. So, all right. Anyway, so we're we're just going to go with what I've got right here. This setup. And I know you guys have been, my viewers have been so good about letting me know, you know, what I can do to improve. So, once again, you'll just have to let me know what I can do to improve. All right. So, I'm worried that pair six, the sixth pair, got mixed in with some other jewelry. So, you may not, you probably won't see that one today. All right, here is, these are supposed to be like that, I think. Anyway, here is, I'll push them over there so I can see them. Here is pair number one, clip-ons. And this, this bead, hold on, I'm doing a terrible job. This bead is supposed to have all this weird stuff going on on it, because they both do. And these are, hold on, what do they say on them? How many times can I say, hold on? Um, They're marked on the back, but I can't read them. Japan. They are marked Japan on the back. So, got those clip-ons. Ta-da! All right. And then let's open another pair. I love clip-on earrings. They remind me of my grandmother. All right, so we got these. Hold on. Oh, how does that look? I was practicing that earlier, too. Um, so these are definitely vintage. You can tell they're vintage. They are marked... Are they marked on the back? Yes. Germany. That's why. That's why I was all into them. If you can see it right there, it says Germany. So, yeah, I like those. I did not look up comps on the jewelry. I went with my gut and a little bit with my knowledge because they keep it behind the counter and the lady stands there. And I'm still a nervous Nelly about checking comps in front of other people. All right. Oh, these are the Mimi Die-In again. So I just recently got a belt by this brand. And I know that her, her really cool, like, animal style belts do really well. So here's a pair of earrings. They need to be cleaned up. But they look like pretzels. So... But this is vintage, and can you see that? The Mimi Die In right there. All right, my nails look terrible. They always do. They don't grow right, and I have to keep them cut. I'm hard on my hands, y'all. Very, very hard on my hands. These are not marked as far as I can tell, but I fell in love with these. Look at those with the little dancing people. 
Hold on, let me move them over here. And can I get you guys in any closer or is it blurry? Might be blurry at that point. All right. Look at those with the little dancing people. They look like from the 1950s. I love those. They're a prong set in there. They've got, well, they're probably not truly prong set, but they're made to look prong set. They're not marked anywhere, but I loved, I just thought these were so cute. These are gorgeous. These would be great for a formal event. And yeah. so putting them down like that is hard. Look at those. Can you just see all that flash and shine? How gorgeous is that? So, um, were they marked? They are H M N. That's what I think I see. H M N. I just fell in love with them. I just think they're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Not a real pearl, but still gorgeous. All right. And then these nice people, the nice lady, she packed all the necklaces. I can't remember if I got any bracelets right here in this box. So, you see what's right on here? I paid $4 for, let's move this out of the way. This Swarovski, I love selling Swarovski. I just sold a Swarovski bracelet today. And it's just this, this crystal. I don't even know what it's supposed to look like. Like well, if it's supposed to be anything. To me, it looks like a stick, but <laughs> the flash in it is gorgeous. So, Swarovski. Um, I didn't even read. This was behind the glass. So I had to ask her to pull it out. Um, what does it say? I don't know. It just says that. <laughs> Danka. I recognize Danka. Gracias. Merci. Grazie. And thank you. Um, okay. Oh, I got these. All right. Let's put these down there. Let's scoot them over. So these, I don't know. I just got them. Um, I haven't even looked to see if they're marked, I don't think. Um, don't know if they're silver. No clue. They might be because it looks like, yeah, it looks like there is something. Let me get that closer to you guys. Right here etched in on this ear wire. So I'll double check these. Woo! Earrings are $4. I think, I think just about each thing was $4. They just... Everything's like $4, $4. This is just some black acrylic beads with gold in between. And it is Monet, which I love. There's, hang on, let me show. I love selling Monet. I absolutely love selling Monet. So this is just a classic piece of Monet. All right, two more. Two more, you guys. Um, let me untangle this. Uh, let me sit down real quick. Uh, I might have to unhook it. How did this get so tangled? Do y'all see this, though? Do you see that telltale sign of J. Crew? It's got some fuzz in it. Where did that fuzz come from? So there's the there's the J Crew and let me see if I can get it untangled. It's a cute necklace. I'll pay four dollars for J Crew because J Crew will sell for decent money. All right, I got it untangled. It is the cutest little bow necklace. It gave me Kate Spade vibes. I was like, um, okay. J. Crew copying Kate Spade. So here we go. 
Let's see if there. So you got all these peach colored or tan colored bows with rhinestones in them on um, gold tone. So yeah, that was cute. Nice length. And then the last piece, let me um, do that in more, was this one. I tried to only buy branded things and Klein. And it's an incline. It's got a toggle clasp, gold tone, and let's see. There we go. <laughs> oh, trying, y'all. All right. How is that? Kind of like what's considered a collar necklace. Does need to be cleaned. But there we go. That is everything. That was everything. So let's flip the camera back around. We'll say our goodbyes, and um, I'll give you guys the the rundown of what I spent. Okay, I'm back. Um, 34 items, not counting the shirt I got for Brighton and the two storage containers. And I actually, I took the price of the two storage containers out since I know they were five dollars each. Um, I, I took the pr cost of that out. So in total, I spent $115.61 on all of those things. And that's count taking out $10, um, for, yeah, <laughs> just like my brain, my brain y'all. Um, anyway, that comes out to $3.40 per item, which is a great cost of goods when you're at a retail thrift and not at the bins. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Some of that stuff I'll list and sell. Some of that stuff I might put in a whatnot show. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm happy with what I found and it was, it was a pretty good day, but I was surprised that I spent that much. But anyway, until the next video, I am going to say a tout à l'heure. See you later.